Hi, this is Jesse from a &R Solar. I'm going to be giving a quick demo here of the Solar Edge monitoring app. Uh, doing this demo on an Android phone. iPhones will look a little bit different, but the content is still the same. Um, we'll start out uh, viewing the dashboard when you, when you log right into the app. And the dashboard here, you're going to display your, your system size, uh, relevant weather info uh, for, for your area right now, and current power. Um, keep in mind that this data is uploaded from the SolarEdge server about every 15 minutes. Um, if there are delays uh, with the slow internet connection or the server itself, it can take up to 24 hours for that data to upload there. So if you are seeing issues, give it about 24 hours um, to see if that comes through. If that comes through. <coughs> Below the current power, you see today's kilowatt hours, this month's kilowatt hours, and then the total lifetime of the system. For this particular system, he's producing up in the megawatt hours. Um, if you scroll down further, you'll see a graph showing uh, power for the day, for the week, month, year, and a billing cycle. You can also edit your billing cycle here. And this will display, uh, basically, you can have it display to match what your bill is. Some people, or some utilities, sorry, uh, bill on the 15th of the month rather than the first of the month. So that can be, that can be a helpful view in trying to compare uh, how your system's doing. You can also uh, scroll through and view different days here on the, on the day for more consistent data um, and uh, get a better picture of how your system's doing. I, I can see here on the 30th, it was a nice sunny day for the customer. Um, whereas on the 29th, there were some clouds or something that came in on the middle of the day that might have reduced that production. Scrolling down further, you can also see comparative energy for, uh, for previous years. Right now, uh, we've got some data for 2018 when he was installed, and then almost a full years of data for 2019. So that's a great way to see how your, see how your system's doing as well. You can view that by quarter, and you can also view bulk by the total uh, production for the year. Down at the bottom, you also have some data SolarEdge provides for the total production of your system and uh, CO2 emissions saved, as well as uh, uh, equivalent plant or trees planted. If you go up here to the next, uh, to the layout section, this is going to be a physical representation of uh, the layout on your roof. We complete this for you after the install. Uh, if there are any problems, uh, please let us know. Uh, basically, though, each module is displaying watt hours for that specific module. You, all the modules are not going to match up 100%, and that's okay. There's shade that happens. There's um, you know just the angle of the sun that time of year and, and how it rises up over your system. So every module is not going to be the same, but this is a great way to see if there are larger issues at hands where modules aren't producing at all, or maybe they're producing half, and we can we can assist and see what's going on with that. You also have a representation of your inverter over here, and that's showing the total kilowatt hours produced um, during this period of time, which right now we're looking at today. You can change that to weekly, getting a view of watt hours per module, as well as your inverter, and monthly, yearly, and total. Another great way to inspect your system is looking from the physical layout to the logical layout. This is electrically how all your modules are connected on the roof and going into the inverter. We can diagnose remotely if there's a problem with an entire string or if it's maybe just one module or just one optimizer. So this is a pretty powerful tool, but as a, a customer, you probably won't be viewing it very often. If you have any other questions, please uh, contact us at service at A-R Solar. Um, and we have a few other videos that may help. Uh, uh, one definitely explaining the difference between a watt and a watt hour. Um, all right, have a good day.